this is a vintage handmade Hawaiian shirt. Definitely a cool pattern with the little fish. The way you can tell it's handmade is the stitching. The stitching is, you know, not professional. Um, it's uneven in places, like right here. Um, it's very well done, but you can tell it's not by, like, a professional machine. Um, yeah, you can kind of see there. So that's when you can know it's handmade. And this shirt sold for 30 bucks. This is the Star Wars Trilogy on VHS. I can't even believe someone bought this, but they did. Uh, since Star Wars, the new Star Wars just came out. Um, this sold for 20 bucks on Bonanza. These are a pair of vintage L.L. Bean. You can see the logo there. Uh, men's boots. Uh, crepe soles. Definitely distressed, but still very cool. And they sold for 50 bucks. This is a vintage Wilcox brand, um, kind of pearlized, butterscotch colored hand mirror. Hello. And um, these do not sell for very much. They sell for more if they're in a set of uh, the hand mirror, uh, hairbrush, and like a shoehorn or, you know, stuff like that. Uh, but this one sold all by itself for $25. These are a pair of military-issued UVEX um, safety glasses or ballistic glasses that you use when shooting uh, target practice. And they sold for $25. Bucks. So I occasionally find these Swedish, um, like, they're like these little Christmas chime things with candles, and you put them all together, and they ring a little bell, and it's like a little whirly gig thing. Um, and I've always sold them, and I've always sold them for good prices. But we had a bag of just parts from various ones. Like, I tried to put them all together, and there were just, like, not enough parts or... You know, some parts to one and different parts to others. So I actually threw this into our recycling, our metal, like, scrap recycling. Um, and then I sold one of these that was complete for $40 the other day. I think I paid a dollar for it. And so I pulled this out of the recycling and listed it as parts. There's probably parts for, like, you know, two not exactly complete. Uh, and someone bought it for $30. So, this is literally trash to treasure. This is a vintage commercial kitchen wire whisk. Um, you can see it's definitely used. It's very heavy duty. And the funny thing is, it's got a bell in it. I'm not sure why it has a bell in it. But it totally does. And it sold for 30 bucks. Vintage Polaroid One Step. Basic camera, tested, it works, and it sold for 40 bucks. This is an LA Kings baseball hat. They are the Los Angeles hockey team. And it sold for 25 bucks. My very last Dundee Marmalade Croc. Um, again, I bought these for a dollar each. I bought five of them and I sold them for 30 each. So I turned $5 into $150. This is a Von West brand. Uh, solid brass and enamel. Cowboy belt buckle with slugs. Or, you know, part of slugs and a bullet. And we bought it under the glass case uh, in the thrift store. It was half off, so it was $2.00. And we sold it for 50 bucks. Now this is the second water pick that we had. One was mine. And I cleaned it out with, you know, vinegar and hydrogen peroxide. And sold it for 40 bucks. This one's new, never used. Uh, I'm pretty sure I just got it at the thrift store for a couple bucks. And again, it sold for 40 bucks. This is a set of six federal brand um, pearl iridescent luster uh, coffee cups, coffee mugs. Um, I think that the some of the iridescent mugs can go for a lot of money depending on the brand. This is Federal. You can see the F. 
Um, a lot of people think this F stands for Fire King, but it does not. It stands for Federal. Um, Fire King would say Fire King on it. And these sold for $37. This is another lovely Elwood Bowl. Uh, it actually sold on Bonanza, and this was an item where I never got a notification from Bonanza, and it did not say it was sold in Bonanza, but I did get a PayPal payment, um, and the PayPal payment was real, so uh, I am going to ship it to her through PayPal, and it sold for 40 bucks. This is the block print that we bought in Amsterdam. Uh, it was one euro, and it is signed in pencil. It's hard to see, but it is here. And it sold to someone in France with a very Dutch name. And it sold for best offer of $85, Global Shipping Program. This is a disc washer. It is for cleaning vinyl records. I think it comes with some cleaner. Um, and it's a special like lint brush thing. And it sold for $37. This is a vintage dark chocolate brown fur collar. Uh, you can see it's finished on the inside, can be sewn to something or just worn by itself, and it sold for 50 bucks. This is a vintage 1970s cheerleader trophy, and it sold for 15 bucks. This is uh, the Plaza Hotel in New York, um, actual soap, and this bar of soap sold for $30, someone in the global shipping program. This is a very cool pair. It is bookends, cast iron, uh, painted into a the shape of a locomotive train. And this sold for 50 bucks. This is a vintage electric warming tray, um, and it was on sale. We've had it for a couple years for $17.50. This is a vintage Guess Men's. 1980s acid washed denim jacket and it sold for 50 bucks this is a cool little wooden spice rack it says spices it's a little bit worn but still really cute and it sold for 40 dollars these are two baseball hats that sold this is for a tractor supply company which is like a um, big hardware store for farmers and this is for Polish vodka. Um, it is corduroy. And they both sold for 20 bucks. Pair of black leather vintage women's slouch boots, ankle slouch boots. And they sold for $37. These are a pair of Fry uh, women's boots, cowboy boots with a zip. Um, we took a best offer of 80 And what's funny about these is we actually had them listed as men's. And someone messaged me last week and was like, are you sure these aren't women's? Because they're 9B, and B usually is, um, you know, medium width for women's. Um, and they were right. I tried them on. They're half a size bigger than I wear, so they pretty much fit me. Um, so they were women's. And they sold, so 80 bucks. This is a vintage ski patch, and it sold for 20 bucks. This is a set of four Ventmiser. Uh, programmable heat vents. I guess you can uh, tell it when to stop heating and cooling on occupied rooms. Um, and I sold these for $40, so about 10 bucks each. This is a fabric remnant, 100% uh, wool, bought at the Pendleton factory a couple years ago. We bought an entire duffel bag full uh, for $90, so we've definitely made our money back. Um, this remnant sold on sale for $32. This is a Craftsman charger. Uh, we actually have four of them. Uh, and we were able to test them at the store uh, with a battery. We don't own the battery. And this sold on Bonanza for $30. Okay, this is a Brizzo brand new in the box handheld shower uh, and shower head. So it's like on a big bar. It's hard to see, but you can kind of see it in the picture there so it's like a handheld and it's got a shower bar thing and we bought this for I believe $20 and we sold it for $240 on eBay this is a Henkel's sharpening steel it's got a couple marks on it but it's still 
solid and it sold for $36.99. Okay, these are a set of Nicole Miller brand. Um, there's a throw pillow, two sham covers there, and uh, a bedspread. And it's queen size. And I think we paid $20 for it. Uh, but Jay says we paid less. Uh, maybe like $15. Um, and I took a best offer of $100. This is a vintage 70s 100% rabbit fur short coat. And I do not have luck selling these for a lot of money. Although some people do. And I sold this for 50 bucks.